Good morning, good morning. Happy Sunday, everyone. This is your girl, Lady D. Hey, guys, I just want to hop on and uh, I just want to apologize. I, I don't know what happened to our prayer Sundays. Uh, and I know you guys were really looking forward to, because uh, you guys have been reaching out to me. So that's why I feel I need to come on and uh, say something to you guys. I don't know what happened. Uh, with Renata. I have not heard from her. I want to pray that all is well and that our, her schedule is just insane and she just doesn't have the time. Uh, so Renata, we're praying for you. Not sure what's going on. Um, so I know that's a big disappointment to you guys that uh, she's not able to, uh, you know, host our Sunday prayer like she normally would. But um, I was thinking about you guys and um, I just have some verses I want to read this morning. I uh, just want to make sure everyone is doing well. Um, uh, it just, I don't know. I just hate that you guys can't get that. But again, you know, just keep the faith. Yes, Renata and her anointing really, really uh, gave a lot of you uh, strength. So uh, just keep that, you know, go back to those uh, videos, those lives that we did. If you need to, you know, that encouragement like that, you know, it's not going to change. So um, this is the first um, verse I would like to uh, read. Uh, is for someone that's going through the storm. So I guess this could be for Robert as well. But guys, please remember, God never promised us this life would be easy. But he does promise this. He is bigger than any storm we face in this world. And he's always working for our good, even in the places where we can't see. Even the circumstances that we don't fully understand he is with us right in the midst of all we walk through. Our storms might look different in this life, but they all have the opportunity to change us forever. And God is the only one who has the power to take what seems tragic and devastating to turn it in, to turn it around for good. It may not happen as quickly as we like. It may feel like a struggle. We might find ourselves longing for another way, but blessings will come from it. For it's the way God works. The good will shine through. You guys have to remember that when you're going through the storm. And Robert, I know you know that. Just by your messages to Jennifer. So I know. So this prayer is also for you and all of you that's going through it. Okay. In some of the most difficult times in life, we've learned the power of praying God's words back to him. It alone holds the ability to soothe our souls, to refresh our spirits, and cause hope to rise above the pain we might be feeling. And through our circumstances, we may not um, be immediately changed, though our hearts may still be hurting. We're reminded through his truth to set our eyes on him. And that's the best place for them to be in all our lives. Okay? Just remember that. I also uh, have a prayer for... Uh, healing. I won't keep you guys. These are short prayers, but I just felt I needed to come on to do this. Don't ask me. It's the power, okay, of the higher power. And this is heal me, change me, strengthen me in body, soul, and spirit. Come, Lord Jesus, cover me with your precious blood and fill me with your Holy Spirit, okay? Amen, guys. And that is for healing. I'm going to read it again. Heal me, change me, strengthen me in body, soul, and spirit. Come, Lord Jesus. 
Cover me with your precious blood and fill me with your Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. I also have a prayer for the discouraged. And it says, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. In Hebrews uh, chapter 13, verse 8, in the national, I, I think the new international version, I think that's what NIV means. I'm not quite sure. You know, I'm learning. <laughs> but listen, guys, when you're discouraged, take heart in the fact that our God is unchanging. Even when the world seems out of control, he's in control. Because there's a lot that's going on everywhere. But you don't hear me talking about it. You don't hear me harping on what's happening in this crazy world that we in. Because I know God is in control. So that's why I don't entertain it. I just keep moving forward. And I pray and I hope you guys would do the same. Don't get caught up. Trust me, he's in control. He's aware of all of it. And if your faith is what you say it is, you get it. So keep pushing forward. Keep praying for those that's going through it. But just know he's in control. He's got it. So don't be discouraged, guys. Please don't. Again, I know when you're going through something that's easily said than done. But trust me, the right mindset, you can do it. You can do it. Okay? Let me read that again for you guys. Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever, guys. When you're discouraged, take heart in the fact that our God is unchanging. He's unchanging. Even when the world seems out of control, he's in control. And my last one for you guys is for when you're, um, when you're depressed. And this uh, is uh, Philippians chapter 4, uh, verses 6 through 7. And it reminds us, don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Let me say that again. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he has done. Then you will experience God's peace, which extends anything we can understand. Okay? His peace will guard your hearts and your minds as you live in Christ Jesus. Amen, guys. Amen. So remember these uh, prayers that I prayed this morning, and it'll get you through. And anytime you go there, you feel yourself going in those dark places where the enemy loves for you to come and visit him. You think of those prayers. Remember, God is unchanging. He's aware of everything that's happening. He has not forsaken you. Okay, and um, just stay strong in this fight. As long as we're breathing, they, this world is going to be what it is. Just remember that. But keep your faith. Keep your mind on the higher power. Baby, you will get through any and everything that you're going through, whether it's a, your, your marriage, uh, uh, issues with the kids. It's okay. It's okay. Trust me. As long as you got that faith and following his word when it comes to those circumstances, when it's out of control, when it feels like it's out of control, talk to your father. Talk to your father. Not someone that's going to judge you, criticize you, and tell you, oh, you should have, could have, would have. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't listen to that. Listen to the spirit. 
when God is trying to talk to you. Let him find that place where you can sit down and have that conversation. Trust me and keep doing it. Keep doing it. Because if you're praying and worrying at the same time, it's not going to work. It doesn't work like that. If anything, you're insulting our Heavenly Father because you're not trusting in his word. Okay, so I just wanted to hop on and try to give you guys a little encouragement uh, this morning. Again, I do apologize that we don't have our uh, Sunday prayer anymore. And like I told you, my schedule is going to be changing due to uh, Greg's situation. You guys are all aware of that. So um, again, yeah, I don't know. We, I just don't see how I could have continued it anyway, but it, it's still... Uh, you know, it is disappointing that Renata has not connected. But again, we're praying for you, Renata. I'm not sure what's going on, but whatever it is, I hope uh, things get better soon. Or if your schedule is just that crazy, I hope things calm down uh, very soon. Okay. Thanks, everyone. If you clicked on this video uh, to hear what I had to say, I truly appreciate it. All I can say, and I always say, man, Stay positive. Don't let the negativity take over. That's all I can ever say to any of you because you know what I'm going through. But you know what? You wouldn't believe it because I refuse to let the enemy control me. You get what I'm saying? Okay. Have an awesome day, everyone. And I'm going to end this recording. I didn't want to keep you. The spirit just hit me and I just felt I needed to come on here. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day and a fantastic week ahead. And remember everything I said today. Okay? Take care. Bye-bye.